Hello everybody, my name is Coffee Break and welcome back to the Coffee Cast Reddit Casted Edition, where this time around I'm pulling down a something versus something replay. I totally, totally biffed it and completely forgot to check the levels of these players, and I already closed my Google Chrome tab, so uh <laughs> my bad! <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, it's going to be a Terran vs. Zerg, you guys can see that nameplate there. On the top left hand side of Daedalus Point, we have Evga, that's our red Terran player. He's going to be up in that 11 o'clock position, and his opponent wearing the blue shorts down there. It's going to be... Blue shorts, gosh dang it. I've been watching too much Total Biscuit. What's he say? The blue trunks? He says trunks all the time. <laughs> oh, I love that man. On the bottom right hand side, it is going to be... Shy. Chai is our blue Zerg player. I, I almost can't say like, Shy! No, it's like, Shy. Shy. He's going to be the blue Zerg player. He's down in the 5 o'clock-ish position. Uh, I have not been... I, I said this on my last replay, but if you guys did not did not watch that cast, I have been really sick this last week. I've not had much of a voice. I've had this nasty sinus and throat cold. So I think I'm starting to get over that. I'm trying to get back into casting, but if... Uh, in my past game and this game are a little bit rough, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> my brain's still not quite functioning on 100% capacity there, I say, as I hit my microphone twice and probably burst a couple of eardrums by accident. Sorry, guys. So over on Shy side of things, it is going to be a pool extractor. Getting that gas up to uh, get that metabolic boost, probably going to pull off his pull off his drones out of that gas. Just so we can start getting uh, towards that expansion. Actually, if he hasn't laid down an expansion yet, he might leave one on there. No, I was going to say, maybe he's going to be going for Banelings, but nope. Nope, just going to be going for Metabolic Boost. That hatchery should be on, it, be on its way very shortly here, I'd, I would assume at least. I really wish I knew the level of these players. I, I wish I knew the level of these players so I knew how exactly to cast the game, if that makes sense. Because you cast differently for low-level games versus high-level games. It's going to be a Reaper opening out of Evga. Things are looking pretty smooth so far for both of these players. Reaper opening for Evga. Looks like he's going to be laying down a command center down here on the low ground, but I'm a little bit worried about that because we still have not seen a hatch. <sighs> have you guys ever heard of the caster's curse before? <laughs> Where right when you say something that it, you know, like something needs to happen, it happens and you just look like an idiot. That, that was a prime example of the caster's curse. Reaper going to be running up the ramp, actually. We don't need any, we don't need any high ground or anything. Reaper going to be running right up the ramp into this main base here. Daedalus Point, maybe not the greatest map for Reaper opening, just because you cannot leap up this cliff line here. But there's still a little bit of space to do that. Zergling is going to be coming over. Oh my goodness, the wall is down! The wall was completely down for a couple of seconds there. That building got lifted off. There was a chance for those Zerglings to get in there, and that was a little bit scary for a second. That one Zergling might go down. No, man, this is a really nice micro by Shy there. Going to be able to kill off just one Zergling so far. This Reaper, though, getting the ever-living crap harassed out of him. He might lose that Reaper! He lost the Reaper! So that's actually... If there was going to be any sort of timing attack coming out of Evka, which is that a... Yeah, I think there was. I think he was, he's might be going for that Reaper Hellion timing attack. Even losing that one Reaper makes that attack a lot less potent. It's a lot less scary in that right. And off the back of that, though, he's going to be going for double command center. So he's going to need to get quite a bit of harassment done with these units here. That reactor has finished up. I assume it's going to be Hellions. Yep, it's going to be Hellions. Maybe a couple of Widow Mines later on for defense. I mean, three command centers can be very difficult to defend, especially this early on in the game, especially with this late of a hatchery. It kind of leads me to believe Shy might be going for a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit more timing attack focused of play. I'm just trying to extrapolate, by the way. I'm not really seeing anything that's that's showing me timing attack. I'm just trying to extrapolate since he's playing a little bit slower of a game. I, I feel like he might be able to... Or he might be looking to go into more of a mid-game timing attack. No gas taken, uh, well, retaken, I should say, quite yet, though. So we're going to see how that pans out when he decides to start getting that gas. It should be fairly soon, as we are sitting at 44 supply right there, which is generally around the time that you start seeing more gas. It's, I think it's around 44 to 60 is the Zerg timing for that. We do have some Zerglings down here, considering the fact that we got three really fast command centers. We still have not seen a second base taken by Evga, and... That's going to be a little bit problematic as the Zerg is going up to his third base now. Normally I would say that that might be a little bit late except for the fact that again our Terran player ha doesn't even have his natural expansion yet. Which I think is really, really late and I think Shy is appropriately getting the Spinecrawler. I wouldn't even, considering what he's seen, I wouldn't even mind seeing maybe one or two more 
Never mind, okay, never mind. He's seen the triple command center, so he knows that it's not some large, aggressive play coming out of Evga here. But I think the Spine Crawler was a good choice before he knew that, because for all he knew, this was a one-base Turtle Terran that was about to come out with a huge, you know, one 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 timing attack or something. Natural Expansion is finally going to get taken. We don't really have that much on the field to dish damage out, though, so I see that third base being very difficult to take for the next minute, maybe even two minutes. Again, the best way to be able to take that, I feel, would be to get some Widow Mines out on the map for defense, just to lower the number of units that are attacking. Like, if a swarm of Zerglings come in, you get one good Widow Mine not shot off, then you can defend with a small number of Hellions, and there's only one Reaper, actually, in this little composition here. Um, I like the fact that he's pushing out it's not really going to be able to do much damage. This is a bit of a contained play. Three more Hellions coming across the map here. He wants to make sure not to lose these Hellions. He's going to be able to pick up a Queen for his troubles, though. Going to be able to pick up a second Queen as well. And this has definitely been worth the effort. Here come the Roaches a little bit late. I wish that he'd been able to pull those Queens back, though, and save them. Because that's actually a... a, a pretty nice amount of damage done there. He does still have three queens on the map, so one for each hatchery, but that's going to severely, severely limit the creep spread for quite some time. I don't even know he's going if he's going to take the time to remake those queens, though. Uh, that would be, what, another 300 minerals gone, and it looks like we're pretty pretty low on minerals right now. Getting that plus 1-1 one, one there. Getting the lair as well so we can start getting Glial Reconstitution, I would assume. Could uh, could alternatively see maybe some Hydralisks on the map, though with a lot of Hellions on the field, Hydralisks may not be the best choice at this point in time. Maybe, okay, well, we're getting, we're getting Banelings. We might be seeing a Roach Baneling attack, or possibly, possibly it could be a... Uh, no, no, it wouldn't be Zergling Ling muted because then he wouldn't get the missile attacks. So it's probably going to be Roaches, maybe some Hydralisks added on. Roach Baneling attack, though, definitely looks like the most viable option at this point in time. One Siege Tank sitting up on top of the ramp. We do have a bunker with a few Marines in there. And it looks like Hellions are going to be running into that third base, roasting away some of the drones there, roasting away a lot of the drones. These are Blue Flame Hellions at that. No plus one quite yet, unfortunately. Excuse me, unfortunately. But still going to be able to do quite a bit of economic damage. Actually, they're still roasting away Zerglings and drones getting into the main base. Going to be able to get a little bit of a scout off. I really wish that actually at this point he would just run those Hellions around to see what all he was up against. And yeah, he really doesn't, he hasn't seen any of the tech structures. I mean, obviously he knows that roaches are on the map, but for the most part, he doesn't really know what exactly is going on. He did see the double evolution chamber, but that's so standard, you have to expect that. He doesn't know if it's going to be Roach Hydralisk, he doesn't know if there is going to be a Zergling Bane Muta. He has no idea right now. And I, that, again, I think Widow Mines would be the better option. If there is a threat of Mutalisks, which he does not know if there is at this point in time, based on what he has scouted, Widow Mines would be the better option at this point in time. And it looks like Aspire is going to go down. But again, with that plus one missile attack and the Carabins, I can't see a huge committal into that Mutalisk. Or perhaps Corruptor? I don't know. I don't, I don't see any point in seeing Corruptor on the map. I'm just trying to theorize what he's going for right now. Because this uh, this road baneling attack is coming pretty late. Centrifugal hooks just now starting up. It's going to be a little while until that finishes still as well. There's the scan going down. Finally going to reveal the baneling nest. Also sees the spire. Uh, this is not a full-on committal by Shy. 6651 workers in favor of our Zerg player. Just giving a quick little recap here before we go into this big battle. Ten workers were killed by Evgar earlier on, by the way, which should even up our supply a little bit. Siege tank going to get one shot off. Only two siege tanks here to defend. Really not that much AoE. Here we go. There we go. I was going to say we need more than two siege tanks to defend against a road to Baneling attack here. And, of course, some of our Battle Hellions, our Hellbats, up on the front line there. That's going to help out quite a bit as well. We have six Banelings morphing in, in addition to the six already on the map here. Ten more Zerglings. I think I saw 28 in the production tab just a little bit ago. Yep. Yep, those are streaming out across the map. Creep spread, uh, getting going uh, slowly but surely. A lot of Overseers over here. That is a lot of Overseers. Are we going to be seeing Contaminate? I would love to see some Contaminate on the field. Because I think that that is a vastly, vastly underused ability. I mean... I can't emphasize enough how I think that's an underused ability. So it looks like we have, well, quite a few Banelings morphing in here. We're going to be up to around 12. Uh, there's three more there I missed. I guess I could always, you know, check the Units tab. That's a great tab, you know that. 14 Banelings on the field. We have six more Baneling Cocoons. So this is going to be a pretty strong attack. There's a bit of a wall off. The Siege Tanks, uh, we're going to have to make sure that we're leading with the Roaches. If he leads with the Roaches, this could do quite a bit of damage. If he does not lead with the Roaches, it's going to do a lot less. A lot of contaminants going down. In the meantime, here comes that attack. Streaming on in into the natural, or pardon me, the third base here. Bane is going to be erupting on the 
uh, on the tanks and the Hellbats, though. Not really getting a lot of damage done. What's going on in the mineral line there, though? It looks like he did get quite a few kills there. And now the Zerg player going to be trying to stream up into the ramp. This is almost over at this point. So many units left. Evgut GG's out. That was that was a beautiful little timing there, pulling Evgut's attention back into his main base to look at the contaminates. And then running into the third base with the uh, Banelings and the Roaches. That wasn't even, I would I dare say it, the best engagement Shy could have gotten there. A lot of the Banelings rolled into the Siege Tanks and Hellbats were not really the ideal thing to roll into there. I mean, I guess that could have gone better. He did eventually get into the middle line. He did have a lot of Banelings. But I would have loved to see the Roaches leading the charge, take out a couple of those, those Siege Tanks, and then roll in with the Banelings to do the economic damage. Doesn't matter, though. Shy won. He doubled his supply, the supply of his opponent at the end of the game. Uh, that was really interesting. In fact, I just want to go back real fast. I want to watch those Overseers go in and contaminate real quickly before we end this replay. Getting there, getting there, getting there. There we go. Let's see if my computer can handle times four while I'm uh, while I'm streaming here. And da 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 Okay, slow it down a bit. Slow it, come on, there we go. Okay, so the corrupt is coming in. Oh gosh, I gotta see this. This is so beautiful. Jobs are changed then for some reason. One, two, three contaminates going down. Okay, maybe could have seen a couple more. I think he lost one of the he lost a couple of overseers when he was flying in there though. And there we go, yeah, Bane Leaks see erupting on the tanks and the hellbats there. Coming over here, erupting on the tanks and the hell bats over here, and then rolling on over to the mineral line. That's kind of what I was talking about. Which I mean again it worked, it wasn't bad. But if there was uh, more army here for Shy, or pardon me, more army there for Evga, then I think that would have gone a little bit more over into Evga's favor. Maybe just like 10 more supply, a couple more siege tanks or something would have worked a lot better for Evga. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been the CoffeeCast Reddit Casted Edition. And if you have a couple of moments, just look down in the description there. Uh, shoot me a like over on Facebook. Let me know how I'm doing down in the comment section here. And until next time, everybody, this is Coffee Break, slowly getting healthier. Signing out.